Abundant Hope Naturals, the official fruit smoothie for sports night. Come recharge with a delicious fruit smoothie full of protein and your choice of supplements. Find out the latest Madison County sports information from Richmond Register Sports Editor Nathan Hutchison coming up next. Madison County Sports Night is brought to you by Total Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning. Let Total Comfort keep you cool or warm this winter. Call for service or for a free replacement quote. Winds Auto Detailing Service. Adams Buick GMC. Sid says sell them. Snappy Tomato Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Metronet Fiber and KYMedia.net. Does your business or organization want to sponsor Madison County Sports Night on the Richmond Register Sports Channels? Hit us up on social media. Welcome into Madison County Sports Night Live for Thursday, December the 15th. Hope you're having a great day. We had lots of sunshine out there today. Kind of made it feel a little bit warmer than it actually was outside, but I'm not here to talk about the weather. We're here to talk about sports and uh, really only have one game to tell you about here tonight in Madison County, but it was certainly a big one and it was a fun one. Madison Central, Madison Southern girls basketball here in Richmond. And in the end, it was Bailey Hensley, 17 points, 9 rebounds, as Madison Central picked up a 48-35 to win over the Lady Eagles. And Atea Schrader, 10 points and 5 rebounds as well. For the Lady Indians, Eden Carter, 10 points, uh, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. 44% uh, shooting for Madison Central, 2 of 9 from 3-point range, 8 of 15 from the free throw line, uh, 18 fast break points. Uh, they got off to a fast start. We're up 10-3 after the first quarter, uh, but Madison Southern battled back, a 14-4 run. Uh, put them up 17-4 to just before the half, but Bailey Hensley had a bucket just before the half, uh, which gave the Madison Central an 18-17 to lead uh, heading into the break, and uh, Madison Central never relinquished that lead in the second half. A couple of big buckets uh, at the beginning of the third quarter by Eden Carter, and it was uh, uh, Central outscoring Southern 13-8 in the third quarter and then 17-10 uh, to 10 in the fourth quarter to pull away. Certainly a lot closer than that score would indicate uh, this game was really not a 13-point game. Uh, it was sloppy, though. 22 turnovers for Southern, uh, 19 turnovers for Madison Central and uh, for Madison uh, Southern. Lacey Sandlin, 11 points, 7 rebounds. Hadley French, 9 points. Uh, Megan Carell, 6 points, 6 rebounds. Bella Moberly, 5 points. Or four points and three rebounds. Lady Eagles shot 31.8%, uh, three of 18 from three point range, and were four of nine from the free throw line. Of course, these two teams very well could see each other again, but of course, it was a lot of fun. And afterwards, I had a chance to talk to Madison Central coach Scott True and Bailey Hensley. Hi, we're here at Madison Central High School where the Lady Indians have picked up a big robbery victory over Madison Southern. Scott uh, True, coach, uh, Bailey Hensley, and uh, Bailey. You got him again. You got, got him with the water. Is this is <laughs> you gonna do this after every win here at home? Um, I hope so. I hope I just perform well on, at home. It's important to protect our home. Right. Well, coach, you wore that same shirt last time. I did. I, did. I was told I had to do that today, so that's what I did. So, um, and they waited until the end there. You, you, they probably didn't. They, they did. They, they were very patient. Just they waited until I was done talking to get me. So it's a great win tonight. It's obviously a very tough robbery. Um, very physical game tonight. Uh, I thought that um, you know we got a little sloppy in the second half, turned the ball over a little bit, uh, but I thought we forced plenty of turnovers too. We got some transition offense, which we needed tonight because we were struggling in the half court. Uh, we shot it a lot better in the second half, and that's the difference in the game. Yeah, Bailey, I mean, we all, we, un, we all know they've won the last few district titles, and the, uh, the rivalry's kind of shifted to their way, and it seemed like this there was a little extra juice on your guys' side tonight. Yes, we came out with some energy. We were the underdogs in this game, and we wanted to win. Yeah, send a message. <laughs> yes. I mean, they really couldn't stop her, Coach, though. I mean, she really kind of, when she got in there, she, she did what she wanted to. Yeah, and, and she, she's really good at that. And, and we've got, you know, we've got kids around who start stepping into scoring roles. And 
Um, that's really good for us when they try to double her and take her away. We have some other kids that are scoring for us. Tay did a good job. Eden did a really good job tonight. I thought Eden gave us a huge offensive lift in the second half, getting to the rim. Uh, I thought that was that was big for us because we were really struggling. Really, to start the second half. You know, first second possession, she gets to the rim, and we kind of relaxed a little bit. So, Phil, we did some growing tonight. Um, you know, we're still pretty young in some spots, uh, but when you've got this one down inside for you and she's going to war for you, it, it helps an awful lot. Yeah, Bailey, they took the lead right there before the half, and you got that that last buck, bucket there. So, walk us through that play. Um, I just was looking for a quick bucket to get us up before the half. I was just anticipating the passes. Yeah, the coaches to uh, get that one and be up one instead of down one at the half, some big momentum. Yeah, it swung it for us a little bit, and then to come out and score in the first couple of possessions, the second half, I thought were really big for us. Um, and, you know, we kind of kept it at five or six. We couldn't really get away from them. You know, they, they just kept coming at us. And, you know, you, you got to know where Hadley French is all the time. Uh, and, then you know, they hurt us inside a little bit with their size, which I thought they might. So, uh, again, you know, I thought we battled hard. We, we're really good on the boards tonight. Uh, and we have to win the glass to win games. And I thought we did a really good job that tonight. But, Congratulations. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, Madison Central moves to 5-1 and one on the season. They'll be back in action Saturday at home against Great Crossing for an afternoon game. And uh, second straight loss for Madison Southern after starting off the season with six straight wins. So they're 6-2. and two. That's easy math even for me to do. And they'll be back in action next Wednesday and, uh, against Nicholas County at the Gateway Holiday Classic up in Mount Sterling. So looking ahead to tomorrow night. We do have another big rivalry game, same floor, uh, same place, same two teams, Madison Central, Madison Southern Boys, uh, 7.30 here in Richmond. That should be, uh, I would encourage you to get there early if you want to get a seat for that one, folks. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's a big crowd tonight for the girls' game. It'll be even a bigger crowd probably uh, for the boys' game tomorrow night. But uh, also, talking about rivalries, uh, the Madison County Swim Championships are uh, tomorrow night over at EKU's Alumni Coliseum. Uh, all four Madison County teams always in that, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Just start about six there. And then uh, we also have uh, two other boys' basketball games tomorrow night. Berea taking on East Carter at uh, a tournament up in Rowan County, and uh, Model traveling over to Frankfurt. So that's all we got for you tonight. Short show. Uh, I don't have Randy here to talk to anyway, so that's probably why it's so short. But uh, I did talk to him. He's doing okay. Uh, he'll be back before we know it. So, uh, But uh, that's all we got for you. So I hope, uh, uh, it was, like I said, it was a nice crowd out there tonight. It was a lot of fun. And I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun tomorrow night as well. So I'm going to leave you with a song. I heard the, I heard this old song on the radio the other day. And uh, I figure we play it now. But uh, this, I know this is uh, uh, going back to the 80s like I always do. But here's, uh, this is uh, El DeBarge with Who's Johnny? If you remember, this, is, uh, this song was from the uh, Short Circuit soundtrack, if you remember that movie from back in the 80s. I know, I'm old. It's okay. <laughs> I've been accused of living in the past, and I plead guilty to that charge. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Alright folks, we'll hope to see you tomorrow night either at the swimming or at the basketball. So come out and support the local kids, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night.